All right, yeah, so we're gonna continue ahead now. We'll get this way, well, because why not? Let's see what's over here. <clears throat> oh, of course, a Doug Trio. Thankfully, it doesn't have Arena Trap. But anyway, okay, cool, so. But anyway, yeah, sorry, I'm not talking that much, but, uh... I don't know what I was gonna say. I was gonna say something. I don't know why I use Surf. I'm thinking, oh, it's a double battle. We'll just use, you know, Surf, obvious option. But anyway, yeah, sorry if that detour was a little, uh, sucky. Because I'm sure a lot of people are like... You know, you're not you're going to all these new places, but you're not exploring a damn fucking one of them. And it's like, I'm sorry, I just I want to uh God, I have so many members on the team that aren't like members right now. I really should have switched and healed them up there, but whatever. <clears throat> I do think this is actually a, an area where I died beforehand, which sucks because it's like we're near this far into the game and they're like, oh hey, let's fuck with you. And of course, finally when I put away the fucking uh Pokemon that can hit multiple Pokemon, we run into this problem. All right, Sludge Bomb. Like, Surf and, and uh, Hyper Voice would be great here. It'd probably take out uh, both Pokemon at the same time. That's the one cool thing about Gender. Oh, I forgot. I keep wanting to talk about this fucking design. I don't think we've seen it yet. Uh, so this is Starmie. This is a fucking ter terrible design for Starmie. Like, I'm sure someone's got some good ideas going on, but, like, look at it. It is so busy. Wait, what am I doing here? I should probably make Thunderbolt on that, and then I can do Shadow Punch on Starmie. But Starmie is so busy here with, like, the design. I gotta knock points for this one, guys. Ugh. Oh, that Crobat, though? Uh, this was the first Pokemon I caught in my first run, and I really, you know, as much as I think the... I have nothing against the first design. You know, we had it as our final member, as our backup member in the last game, but, ugh. You know, that, that design was so fucking... That, that, that patch in particular was such a, we need to, we, <laughs> let's make Pokemon sexy again patch. Like, what the fuck? Like, they, first of all, they weren't sexy in the first place. <laughs> but, no, and a blue flute. Yay, shit, I don't fucking need. Funny enough, the uh, flutes are actually in, uh, if I remember correctly, they're actually in the data for Pokemon data. Data for Pokemon uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green. They just uh, it just was never used properly. Another Sooth Ball. God damn! I think I already had one before in twos. So that's three at this point. There's Celios here. That's kind of cool, I guess. I don't really need an Ice type right now, though. I do have to say, Walrins are fantastic I uh, Ice types, in my opinion. Ice types aren't that great, but them being paired with. Uh, Water types is kind of interesting because they because you know it makes the most sense in most cases, but it's also very uh I have to make sure I beat you in speed. Okay, hopefully this kills you. But um I don't know, it just makes the most sense in my opinion because they're very um Is there even anything over here? There we go. A, a fucking Pokeball, wow. Good thing I waited for that one, guys. But anyway, you yeah, know the the bulky uh the bulky water types really go well with the ice types, but it's, you know, it's, again, it's not always the best idea, because ice types just suck. <laughs> best way to put it. I mean, at least in Generation 3, they get stab on the one move that's not dragon types that kill other dragon types, so. So, guys, considering all the starters we have, um... I think we're missing Chikorita. Yeah, we're... I, right? No, we're not missing Chikorita. No, we haven't got a Typhlosion. Yeah, we haven't got a Chikorita or Typhlosion. We haven't gotten... There's another Poke... Oh, fuck your shit. And you have Speed Boost. Fuck off. And you have a Hyper Potion. Fuck off even more. This is bullshit. I can wait until we can get another fucking... Okay, as long as you don't get a stupid-ass crit. Okay, we're good. We're not even done yet? <laughs> I was thinking I was good after that one. I'm like, I don't gotta worry about nothing, guys. No problem. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. 
I mean, there might be some more, but I can do that later. Anyway, let's heal up. Because we have a lot to do. There's a lot in this town, so I'm just going to start talking around. I know I'm supposed to get some interesting... Yeah, blah, 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 talking to people here. So I want to get some TMs ready. I know some of these guys give away TMs and stuff. I definitely want those Poke Blocks, because I want to finish my catching for today, if all possible. Actually, I think I can catch water type here. Yeah, no, yeah, we can. Okay, or at least it's possible in one of the generations. Yeah, here we go. Down here should work. Alright, so anyway, this is the contest area. This is the only area in, the, in this game, not a Ruby and Sapphire. They were usually littered throughout the game, but in this game was the only game you could get your hands on, um, or you could start doing contests. Contests just did not stick around. I get what they were going with, you know, people have, you know, dog and cat, you know, beauty contests, so why not do something similar with Pokemon? But, like, it just, it failed considerably, in my opinion. Oh, here we go. Okay, so they actually give it to us. Yeah, because if I remember correctly, in Ruby and Sapphire, you had to, like, talk to a bunch of people, and if you didn't talk to them, you got really confused, because everybody else was so much better than you, and you're like, what the fuck is this bullshit? Could four people play against each other in Pokemon? With double battles? Oh my god. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I don't get why they put it this late in the game, though. I feel like it's kind of stupid. Sorry, this is a big town, and I'm trying not to skip any of it. And I don't think we can ride out... No, we can't ride out on the water, which also means we can't use uh, the fishing rod there. We also have a big mart in this, game, in this part of the area as well, which is kind of cool. Oh yeah, this guy kicks you out of the way of the TV. Oh, Scott's in here as well. Hey, Scott. Oh yeah, I forgot. They actually just have Team Aqua and Magma just kind of hanging around. It's funny that people who can, st like, a gang that, like, stole from a big fucking... You know, actually thinking about it, it's not as, like, crazy as you think it is. Like, the Team Rocket one is weird that the police didn't kick in, but... You know, technically, just wearing gang attire isn't necessarily illegal in uh, most states, at least to my knowledge. Oh, does he fucking fight you? Fuck you. Well, I guess I'm not going in there. Oh yeah, here's the museum as well. Oh, uh, I don't think? Sorry, it's been forever uh, since I've played this, so I'm not sure what does what, so I'm just trying to... Really? They don't even show you the pictures? That's stupid. Unless I missed something in the text there. Alright, whatever. I don't care. And I don't feel like fighting Brendan right now. Imagine if, like, you just... Oh, I don't want to talk to the Pokemon. I don't want to talk to the move deleter. Do these guys not let you go to certain areas yet? I think that's what's, what's going on. Okay, so yeah. Basically, they're just kind of making it clear. By the way, our height is right around the corner. <laughs> Oop, TM44. So that one's supposed to be Yawn in the original, but in this game it is... Oh, Vine Whip. Well, that fucking sucks. Vine Whip isn't terrible, just late game, it's a bad moon. Like, in the beginning of the game, it's alright. And a lax and sense. Okay, that's basically another Bright Powder. Alright, so we're still technically in the town, so time to do our next encounter, guys. Okay, so, our Lilikov encounter shall be... Wait, is it Lilikov, right? Yeah, Lilikov. Ah, oh, fucking shit. Goddamn puzzle. Uh, the only reason I'm catching you, Minum, or sorry, the, yeah, I said Minum. The only reason I'm catching you, Minum, is to make sure that I don't fucking have, so if I catch, so if I run into you again later, I can say dupes. That is the only reason I am catching your ass. Just so you know. Wait, what am I doing? False wipes. And if I accidentally kill you, then, well, win-win. Okay, well, that was a stupid encounter. At least I got that out of the way. Oh, I didn't mean- Okay, well, I'm not gonna name you, because fuck you. 
Oh yeah, so these guys are basically blocking the area so we can't get by. Uh, can we see a different route? Oh. No, I guess we could do their hideout right now. Huh, weird. Or at least if we could, it doesn't mean anything, so... God, it sucks I could have caught Ivysaurs. I mean, it would be considered dupes? I don't know, do you have to... Here's a question I have. If you're doing a Nuzlocke and you have certain rules in place, such as dupes and species and stuff like that, do you have to follow it if you don't want to? Like, let's say I caught a fucking Lugia early a game, somehow, and then it's like, hey, would you like to get your hands on another Lugia, and I say, of fucking course. You know, would that be considered, like, would I be allowed to? Anyway, since we're already here, I guess we should go through some of these mons. I'm gonna organize them real quick. Alrighty then, I did some organizing, so let's go. Mr. Bitey, what do you have? Sa oh yeah, that's right, you have Sandstream Dump. Uh, let's see, Hydro Cannon's pretty good, Dragon Breath, Water Sp Bouts, the damaging ones, okay, that's the good one. Alright, and the quiet nature means you have increased special attack and lower speed, so that's not too bad. I forgot what your typing is, I think it's lower speed, which is why Dragon Dance on Mr. Bitey is such a fantastic move to have. And you have guts, okay. Kind of funny, it had pure power in the last one and now it has guts. So, tip in nature, I think that's actually lower attack. Yep, lower attack, increased speed, ah. Uh, I mean, to be fair, the... The Porygon 2 we used in the last game also had a lowered attack stat, and it still did fucking amazing. Uh, let's see, you have Sword Stance, Mega Punch, Secret Power, and Sing? Not bad. Sing would be nice if it was a better accuracy move. Steelix has uh, Inner Focus, Prevent Flinching. Eh, Gentle's probably lower attack. No, it's lower defense, higher special defense. Okay, um... I mean, I guess thinking about it in one way, Steelix has spe has defense to spare because it's got like a base like 200 something defense. Uh, Boomerang, Doom Desire, eh, not that great, honestly. Let's see, what do you got? Sneasel? Flashfire? Oh! Now that's not bad because Flashfire means that it will get its, it'll actually increase its special attack and it can't get hit by fire type moves. So that's actually not half bad at all. That's a good ability to have for Sneasel, because that would help get around that weakness. Blizzard's good. Uh, Crunch is better than Bite. It's almost literally the same thing, unless you want the flinching, so... And let's see how bad Minum is, because I didn't even name it. <clears throat> it has damp. It has fucking damp. One, another one of the worst to build... Oh, wait, no, did I check uh, Timid? Oh, wait, no. Do both of you have Timid? Oh, two of you have Timid. Nice. Okay, so there's that. This one has Bashful, too. Please tell me it's, like, lower special attack. Oh, no, it's, it's a neutral. Okay, but still, damp. Fucking damp. Oh, has, oh, it actually legitimately has Vault Tackle. That's kind of funny. So, this is a recoil move, so Vault Tackle actually kind of sucks, honestly. Um, I mean, it was seen as this cool thing, but it's, it's not, so. Uh, I guess Charge beforehand? I mean, maybe that would be... No, no, I'm, um, that's stupid, so. Anyway. Those are those mons right there. Oh, I didn't write down the minum for Lilicove. I think we're in Lilicove, right? Sorry, I'm not. I'm terrible with remembering shit. Yeah, we're in Lilicove. Okay. Minum. Okay, so with that, because <laughs> of the sixteen by nine ratio, the floor like vibrates. It's weird. Okay, so where should we go from here? All right. Wait, did I put Hydra on the team? No, that's right. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is if I can, I'm going to take on Mount Pyre. And then from there, I'll go... Oh, I really should have put Hydra on the team just so I have Fly. Because I don't think any of these monsters... Actually, I didn't check to see whether or not uh, Luma can learn Fly. As much as I'd rather it not have to learn Fly. Oh, it can. Uh... You know what, I'm gonna do it just because Crush Claw has a chance to miss, so if I'm already gonna fuck- I mean, it's- Here's the thing, Fly is such a- a- a-, a, a utility to have. And, you know, I-, I uh, No, I'm- I'm- I'm standing by this option, and I'm actually gonna use a Super Repel now. Now we're gonna speed this- actually, no, I'm just gonna cut till I'm back to Mount Pyro, guys. Alright then, guys, so we are back. So this is kind of the lavender. so I didn't talk about this before, but this is kind of the Lavender Town of the area? Mob needs some stuff. And then I think we'll put Har up second in case we get a double battle. So that should be nice. But yeah, this is basically the the Lavender Town. The, the Pokemon Mansion, I think? No, what was it called? I forget the name of it. So, I mean, this one doesn't have the excuse. Oh, a cleanse? Oh, wait, she actually gives us a cleanse tag? Really? Huh. 
So that means you actually encounter, I think, 50% less Pokemon than usual? I'm going with that one. Oh, we actually fight actual Pokemon here. Huh, interesting. See, I thought... Ooh, oh, so what? Sketch? We could literally have any move in the game. I mean, we'd have to encounter it first, and we'd have to make sure we use it, so... And technically, being a Nuzlocke, I'm not allowed to save Scum, but I'm actually curious to see who can learn that. Because seriously, guys, that that's actually a nice TM to fucking have if somebody can learn it. So, Static and Mama Luigi. Uh, Mama Luigi needs a good fucking physical move right now that's not a normal or fighting type, so... I will have to give that a shot later. I, I'll have to encounter some regular Pokemon and see whether or not I can do that as a way to, uh... I need to see whether or not I can take it... Adv I, I can, um, find, like, a move I like, even if it's, like, Earthquake or some shit, and then see if I can get teach it to Mama Luigi. Do you have... Ooh, a Hyper Potion. Yes, perfectly fine with that. I think we can buy Hyper Potions already? I'm not exactly sure. So, we're basically grave robbing right now. Okay, just so everybody knows, grave robbing is perfectly okay. Alright, and we're still in Mount Pyre. Oh, there we go. And now they're legitimately doing the thing that was in Lavender Town, where we fight a bunch of people one after another. The the bad guys of the game, or at least the... The one bad... I guess I should have read their text. My bad. Oh, that... That's... That baby's head, that is such a chibi fucking head. God, I forgot the moveset mob had. Ugh. You get psychic on this bitch. Ugh. Should have let you take on uh, Team Magma first. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let, let me get my Italian accent going. Should have let you take on Team Magma first. No, those Team Magma goons got here ahead of us. We can't fall behind. Okay, there we go. I really fucked that up there. <laughs> Amphros, yay. Alright, well. Amphros is a pretty cool mon, but. Oh, wow, that was a critical hit, too? I forgot. Oh, point in point. That actually came in handy, holy shit. But no, my I, I was just gonna say how uh, I find it funny, because, uh... We had Amphros on the team last time. All right, now for a double battle, woohoo. Oh, I'm not reading these two, God damn it! I'm sorry, guys, I'm really sorry. They're still, uh, entrepreneurs in love, though. Just saying. Okay. Uh, we'll use Strength on the Coughing, because I can't use Earthquake, because uh, we would hurt Mob. And knowing my luck, I'd get a fucking critical hit. Wow, that didn't do shit. That actually surprises me. I don't know. I'm trying to think of how good... You know, we will use Psycho Boost on that Dawn Fan just to get it out of here. That should kill it. Because I think it has really good defense, but bad special defense. So that's probably what happened there. Oh, a Magmar, too. Still love that design. Absolutely fantastic. Fucking beautiful. Luckily, we have a regular ground-type move, so... <clears throat> if you're gonna mess with anyone, let it be Team Magma. If you want to join Team Aqua, that badly we can consider it. <laughs> Oh, God. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what you got. Team Magma Maxi got ahead of us, but we also got what we wanted. The red ore preserved at Mount Pyra I, Archie, now have in my possession. Ha! <laughs> now we can bring our ultimate objective to fruition. Okay, team, we're pulling out. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you think that's, like, the, the best thing to hair during a gangbang? If you're the per- Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh. Not only the blue orb, but even the red orb has been taken. The blue orb and red orb must never be separated. They belong together. What are those men trying to do with the two orbs? Oh yes, was it Team Magma who came and took the blue orb first? Well, in their haste, they left this behind. I couldn't imagine what exactly it could be. I would like you to have it. Perhaps it would be useful in some way. And we got the magma emblem. I forgot what those what that key item does. Mount Pyro is where the calm spirit of Pokemon that have passed on. This is a high place where we can see all of Hoenn. The disembodied spirits of Pokemon must find solace here. Is it coincidence that you are here? Will you hear out my tale of a- Okay, I'm not reading all this shit. Blah blah blah, this is just uh, epil- They're not epilogue, this is just uh... Exposition, if you don't know anything about the game, but if you want to ignore it, that's kind of nice, so I, I give credit there. Okay. Continuing on now. 
I can't believe I got so speedy I forgot to read the goddamn dialogue. I apologize. I'm not trying to be super speedy here. I'm not trying to feel like I'm not like, ah, oh, who wants to play Pokemon? Uh, that's lame. It's all about them Halos and Call of Duties. Everybody knows that. So I will explore the rest of Mount Pyro. I forget what's up ahead here. I think we actually do trainer battles up here. Yes, pretty sure we do trainer battles, so. I would usually ignore this, but why the hell not? We'll do Har up front, and then we'll have Luma as our, uh, for double battles. Like this one. I will be speeding up past this, though. <laughs> yeah, this is a weird branching point in the game. The game's so, like, I want to say, I want to say totally linear, but it's very branchy up to this point. Oh, well, did I just use Earthquake? I did not mean to do that. Um... Oh, wow, really fucking endure. That fucking sucks. You know, I really don't get the move in door. Like, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I get its point somewhat. Like, it's good for moves like reversal, but like, I feel like you'd rather just have protect at the end of the day. And protect, yeah, protect was a thing in generation two, I believe. This isn't something they added in generation three. I just don't think it was a move until generation two, to my knowledge. Or until, uh, generate, like, a TM until Generation 3. Because Double Battles makes Protect so much of a better move to have when you're doing moves like Earthquake. Alright, we just have to make sure this hits everybody. Oh, wait, did I just use Earthquake again? Stop that, Michael. Uh, I want to get rid of that Dust Skull for sure, so... The last thing I need is for it to use uh, Destiny Bond and fuck my ass up. It's moves like that in Mirror Coat that really mess with you. Oh, Hearthstone. Cool, cool. Yeah, we already fought you. Nope, you're just a person to talk to. Oh. I did not mean for that to happen. I wanted to talk to the one girl. <laughs> I'm just imagining being in a situation, though. The way I say talk to her, it's like, hey, baby, you come here often? Uh, yeah, I'm crying over the fact that my... My uh, best friend ever is dead. Damn, that sucks. Need a new best friend? <laughs> Get all pissed off because you're not fucking... Not talking to me. Be on Reddit, nice guys. This dude literally... Ju <laughs> I'm just imagining a situation where in the Pokemon world there's a fucking Reddit and there's all those fucking things where people like the nice guys and stuff. Like, God, just just imagine what people would say. Hey, baby. Uh, my Onyx would like to see your cloister. <laughs> Ew, gross. Wow, fuck you too, bitch. Okay, what did you have to say? Oh. <laughs> She's talking about her dead Pokemon. Well, I think it's a good idea to just uh, back away slowly. And you have a Mewtwo. Fuck off. This should hopefully kill you. Good. Uh, sweet. Thunderbolts? You're bulky. You might live through this. Yeah, you did. Aw, oh, shit. Okay, no, we're good. Okay. Luckily, we're not at Dragon Resist Water, so our ground type doesn't matter. I mean, like, it matters, but doesn't matter matter. I can't believe we're already in at an hour. My voice is definitely going to give out soon. Because <laughs> I have not talked that much at all. Good thing we have Thunderbolt. Four times effective. Get the hell out of here. Gyarados. Oh, a super repel. Yay. Save my ass some fucking time. Okay, so I think what I want to do now is switch Luma up front. Getting low on HP for Har. Oh, for a second there, I thought she wasn't going to fight us. I'm like, why are you spitting then? Only, <laughs> I'm sorry, but only trainers spin around. I don't mean to be that guy or anything, but only trainers spin around like that. Disgust me. <laughs> Alright guys, Luma's at level 42, so I should really move him to a different spot. <laughs> okay, so this... Okay, so I see... 
this here is another one of those falling puzzles, which I fucking hate. All right, you need to go, so Brick Break will be a good option. Damn. And you know recover. Okay, don't... Okay, good. Yeah, duh, it only recovers half. What am I thinking? Yeah, because Slacking has very good attacking power, but because it has Truant, that means that it never... Blah, blah, blah. So, um, you have to watch out to make sure it doesn't have, like... Oh, yeah, we'd be running into more Pokemon here if I didn't have a Repel going on. Thank fucking God. Funny thing is, too, I remember in, uh, for the slacking situation, I remember in, it, one of them had Trace, and it traced my pure power in the last, in the last Moimon game I played, and oh my god. I freaked out so hard. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I killed it in one hit, but just imagine if I didn't. Oh, yeah, no, we're gonna, we're gonna get the fuck out of dodge right now. Okay, good, we're good. <laughs> I wasn't sure how many Pokemon they had. I'm like, please don't tell me the next Pokemon has fucking Arena Trap or some shit. Ooh, Facade. Nice. Does it actually have Facade? Yeah, no, that would be Facade, because we get Facade from uh, Norman. X-Speed. I'm gonna want to say it's this one. E oh. No, it's the other one. Okay. And this item is Awakening. Oh, yay. I wasted all my time on that. I'm so happy. Okay, so I think we're gonna go now, now. Yep, okay, so. We are done at Mount Pyre, guys. Okay, so. Alright, so I think we should go take on Brendan now. I'm pretty sure you have to fight Brendan. I wasn't exactly sure, but we can go in there to kind of check out the mall right now. And then I think we'll go to... I don't know why that was Mount Pyre. Or Pyro. Pyro? I don't know. I thought, I thought the mountain was Mount Pyro, so. But I do know we need to go there next as well, so I will go there after this. Oh wait, no, we're talking to you though. Uh, what Pokemon should we have up front? We'll do Mob up front. All right. Oh hey, it's Mike. I'm running an errand for my dad. No, I'm not buying any dolls. Anyway, it's been a while. Want to have a battle? See who's been raising Pokemon better. Ah, but you know, I'm not going to lose to no Mike. Oh well, fuck you, dude. You realize you're like the worst trainer in the entire series, right? Man, I hope they fix the fact that you don't level up your Pokemon all the way in fucking... In this generation, you fucking ass. Alrighty then, so... Mm, headbutt's the best move. Flinch, flinch, flinch. Ah, damn it. It has Meditate? I think that increases attack power? Yeah. It's like the sole move for uh, Medicham. Who has pure power, by the way, so... Ooh, a Polyrath. A uh, bad option, dude? Uh, what, are the rest of your Pokemon fucking psychic types and shit? Wow, all that damage and it still didn't kill? I thought... No, I guess... I guess Polyrath is more bulky than I thought. <clears throat> I don't know, I'm trying to think. Because the, the funny thing is, is that in early generations of Pokemon, the, the stat spread doesn't mean as much because there's so little, like, fully evolved Pokemon... Where endgame, it's like, oh yeah, this specific water type has, like, just enough defense to survive this compared to this water type, etc, etc. Damn, dynamic punch missed. Yeah, that's fine, keep doing that. I'm just gonna speed... <laughs> oh, it has speed boost too, nice. Wow! Did, was that not super effective? Oh, that's right, Chola doesn't have an ice typing yet, it's just a water type. Fuck your speed boost, dude. Alright, well, definitely gonna use Confusion, because it did use Withdrawal. For some reason, I thought it was super effective, so that's why I wanted to use it. And we defeated it in, like, one hit. Who knows? I mean, you know, maybe the extra damage from Dynamite Punch did that, so... Oh, yeah, that's right, you have your Swallow. Well, sorry to say that I, uh, swept your team, dude, but... I swept your team. <laughs> yeah, no way he's living from a Psycho Boost. I'm trying to think what Pokemon actually knows Psycho Boost in the actual game. Because pretty sure Alakazam isn't one of them, at least in this generation. I I plan on going home to Little Root. You know, I'm helping out my dad on his Pokedex. It's coming together pretty decently, so I should go show him. Mike, what are you going to do? Collect all the gym batches and take on the Pokemon League challenge? Maybe I'll do that too. Well, anyway, hang in there. I do think it's kind of cool that he uses a uh, fly. I always like that kind of stuff. 